All right, here we are once again back for hack run. Uh, I noticed in the last part that it's awful hard to see the terminal, so let's fix that. That should be easier for you guys to see. All right. I also noticed just after I uh, hit the stop record button last time that uh, old Hank Hamburger is probably not with last name Hamburger. It looks like uh, I bet you love it. When they called, I just told him, you say hello and you can keep the burger. So his name is probably Hank Ham or H Ham. Okay. So let's pick up where we left off and go back to the HR system so we can find his month of birth. It's not. Oh, right. The, got to be closed. Um, and then search and oh, okay. I think okay. Um, yeah, she's not in there either, so. Okay, um, then let's go back and we'll just try and brute force it uh, as we did before, but now with preferably the correct username. Uh, April, May, his birthday's in May as well. Birthday buddies. All right. Uh, done. Irene and Kate, we have another person here. Um, I hate being an offsite rep. How do you do it every time? I think I've seen all of our. Okay, this is uh. Irene and Kate are also offside reps with the special usernames. Um, uh, I'm having a hard time keeping up with my leads. Sorry, I think I'm done working here. Sorry to bitch. Okay. Irene. God, there's no tap of lead. I mean, okay, I planted that sappy message about quitting to Kate. Hopefully she takes it as an opportunity to move into my territory and I'll spank her down hard. Oh, some corporate intrigue going on. Speaking of a hard spanking, I need to see you again soon. When are you going to trade in that common last name and common husband and finally become Mrs. Irene Ham? I'm not wearing any underwear, thank you. Uh, God, that's so stupid. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, there's no files. Uh, okay. All right, so Irene has a common last name. Smith is the most common last name there is in most of the English-speaking world. So, uh, let's see. Oops. Uh, I. Smith. January, February, March, Smith, uh, April, May. Okay, it's so when he said he changed it all to their birth month, he actually meant he changed it all to to May. Changed them all to May. Um, and I uh, Smith. Files, mail. Right. Hank and Kate. I know how hard it can be. I know how hard it can be to be out on the field with no engine sight. After all these years with the company, I just learned we actually have several international locations I knew nothing about. I think someone named Julian Russo is our sales rep for Italy. Uh, 
Jerusalem. Keep your panties on, Hank. Yeah, Hank. Uh, okay, so then exit this. So, okay. Uh, nota. Um, wait, what was the, um, was type? Ah. In moto strano. Okay. I don't speak Italian, so let's do a translate. I just uh, the other day watched um, the Metatron's video on um, a language teacher. Uh, I believe it was French, and uh, the Metatron is Italian himself, and this French language teacher was doing videos on Chinese, Japanese, and Italian, and when it got to the Italian, he completely met, melted down, so just for the uh, the Metatron, maybe I should do the translation. It is a very strange that this company has grown so fast. How did it happen? I apologize. <laughs> I immediately regret. Well, I don't regret anything, to be honest with you, but I am sorry that I don't regret it, at least. Irene, amor mio, pesce, need to see you again. Wow, Irene gets around. You were all I dream about during these long, lonely nights on the road. When will you come visit me again? I learned someone from Run was coming to Italy, and I hoped it was you, but learned it was that prostituta, Miss Piet. Perhaps if you flew over, the three of us could do Rome together. Ciao. Julian. Okay, I don't know who that is. It could be Kate. Um, was there? There was no other mails. Um. Well, let's go back and try it. I guess. Yes. Okay. Um, no files. Cool. I said I'd love to spend time with you again in Rome. Would you mind if I brought along a friend? She just started working at my office, and well, I think we all could have a lot of fun together. Yeah, everyone's everyone's hopping into bed here. All right, here's to Larry. We don't have Larry's until yet. Uh, I need you to use your geeky admin powers to dig up as much dirt on the person Alice is dating as you can. I need them out of the picture so I can invite her to roam with me. All I know is Alex's last name is Thomason. Is Alex also on the uh, on the team here? Uh, the sales reps teams uh, do it, and I'll provide the standard compensation. I know how much you like. Wow, jeez. I uh, received another message. Let's break out back to the beginning and check that out. Oops. Well done in learning about the company's surprising expansion. You discovered clues to access your zone. You need to just installed another upgrade. Uh, you need to access by using admin. Okay. Establishing a connection, uh, um, username. I don't know yet. So. No, okay. Okay. Um, oh, no, that's right. Because I did do an HR search before for Alex and did come back with his file. So he is not on the sales rep team. Um, so, okay, um, I'm missing something.
Oh, I know how much you like sex, so that's probably the best version. Yep. Alrighty. Okay. Um. Male. Please be, be on the alert for any suspicious activity concerning run facilities or systems. Make sure to report any suspicious behavior to run security immediately. Larry, run security, and then we have this. Looks like it's an analog of some kind for a tiny base 64 string. I mean, that's obviously not base 64, because look at it, but. Uh, Note from employer, return to your local host immediately for an urgent message. Okay. Stupid hacker, you hack into my system, read my files, and think I'll just let you go free? I didn't get to be head of run security by being a fool. You think you're so talented. True talent. Well, I mean, you look at the password you chose. Yes, you're a fool. True talent is using a simple password to lure you into my trap. Oh, I see. It was... I'm playing 4D chess here. And planting a trace on you is all too easy. It's only a matter of time until I discover where you are, and then I'll know who you are. We've hurt people before, you know. How do you think Run expanded so quickly? Damn. It appears that you have better defenses than I had assumed. Well, I may not be able to discover where you are, but I can sure make you wish you never jacked into my systems. <gasps> you survived. You have an achievement. You survived. Um. Is that the end of the game, though? We only have 25 of 52 achievements, so we're only about halfway there. You barely survived an attack from Larry, is the, is the information we have on the achievement, or the description we have on the achievement. Um, why do I have to restart? You don't have to restart the game every time you play. When you use the terminal, your levels are saved. You can view your achievement levels using the attack command. Okay, this is system status. There's all the achievements we've earned so far. Okay. So, I feel like that's not the end of the game. We, we're about halfway through, I would assume. Let me check the achievement list here. Yeah, they're hidden. <clears throat> they are hidden until we, uh, until we unlock them, so. Um, okay. Well, it's going to be a fairly short video. It's only been about 13 minutes or so, but it feels like a pretty good stopping point. We're about halfway through, and we just narrowly avoided an attack from Larry. So I guess we're going to come back for... Uh, well, we'll potentially come back for a part three. Um, there are two other games in this series. This is Hack Run. There's also Hack Run Zero and Hack Time, which all seem to be part of the same series and the same developer and everything. Right? Sure, I'm not lying here. Yeah, they're all the same developer. Uh, Hack Time was released in 2017. Hack Run Zero is 2015. Time for okay, so Hack Run Zero is the sequel to this. Um, so, will we finish Hack Run before we move on to the next one, or will we just move on to Hack Run Zero? I guess tune in next time and find out. But uh, overall, fun little puzzle game. You know, that's really all it is. It's not really a hacking game. It's a puzzle game with hacking trappings, but for some reason it's doing it for me. I am intrigued, and uh, none of the um, challenges, the puzzle, the challenge level is fairly low. Uh, the puzzles aren't too difficult to figure out, so I also have that dopamine rush of feeling like I'm accomplishing something, even though I literally am not. So I'm enjoying that as well. So see you on the next part to this, or the first part to Hack Run Zero, depending on what I feel like doing.